heart is used throughout the scriptures as the most comprehensive term for a person's life. It is the part of our being where we desire, deliberate, and decide. Jesus insisted that we should love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. When describing the kingdom of God, Jesus argued that the things that come from the heart defile a man. He also taught, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Apostle Paul prayed for the believers in Ephesus that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. We find similar instruction in the Old Testament where we are urged to trust the Lord with all our heart. According to the prophet Samuel, God does not evaluate people by outward appearance, but he looks at the heart. The heart can be grieved, troubled, broken, pierced, divided, and joyful. Charles Ryrie defined the heart as the very core of life. Our heart is the most authentic expression of who we really are. Augustine truly grasped the significance of the human heart when he prayed, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. It is no wonder that Proverbs tells us, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. So we embark on this journey to the heart of God, listening to his voice, examining our heart, and allowing him to perform the surgery necessary to align our hearts with his gracious, generous, and sacrificial heart.